just reading this comic book is worthwhile. So Wolverine, issue 88, December. Beautiful cover. This is in original condition, me never bagging it. It's in pretty good shape for what it is. This is a well-made, glossy comic book. They called this a back in the day, a deluxe comic book. It was $1.95, okay? This is a deluxe, this is a deluxe item we're talking about here. Wolverine, got these bunkos here. Stan Lee presents the Canadian X-Men and the Merc with a Mouth in It's Deadpool, folks. Fachoom, fachoom. Nobody home but us cold-blooded mercenary assassins. Hoo-ha! You wouldn't happen to know where old shiny arms went off with my ex-squeeze Vanessa, would ya? Huh? 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 I'd do you a big solid and put you out of your inner, inner minimal suffering. <laughs> I don't accept no favors from big mouth upstarts, bub. And I wouldn't stomp on your face if it was on fire. Let alone rat out the cane kid and his lady. Oh shit. Schlick, schlick. That's the fucking. This is a beautiful picture of. Uh, this is a classic Deadpool coming in. Acrobatic move with a fucking automatic weapon firing. And then he's got like a pistol type weapon up here smoking. Just beautiful. Beautiful pencils. This is some gorgeous work, actually. I love the fucking comic book style uh, Deadpool coming out of the drum here like a weird little western chibi style just beautiful like all the levels of detail you see all the levels of detail here in the background like a weird jukebox and a pinball table masks and artwork and a dartboard and you got wolverine coming up with the fucking uppercut immediately on deadpool you got that bub you feel it in your guts get it guts <clears throat> Oh, that smarts. Deadpool, ain't it? Some sort of rhymes with dead fool. Yeah, okay, Wolverine. I can't believe I thought Wolverine was cool when I was a kid. Yeah, like Wolverine rhymes with Louver screen, Hoover spleen, Thrack. Hey, what the heck does it rhyme with? You got some lip, bud. You better stop flapping it before somebody slices it off. Oh, shit. It's gonna slice that lip off. Ooh, cutting bad on me, huh? So Wolverine's just constantly cutting Deadpool. But Deadpool has a fucking healing factor, so you can just beat the shit out of him and he's chilling. But Deadpool has swords and shit and is fighting pretty good here. You can see that. Did you know that I have a mutant healing factor? Works just fine, too. Unlike others I hear about. Yuck, yuck. You're gonna need it, bub, because you just maxed out my tolerance level. So what? Are we coming into a period of Wolverine's comic book history where he didn't have a healing factor that worked properly? That'd be crazy. Holy shit. Now, this is some classic fucking 90s Wolverine right now. There was a period where Wolverine had bone claws, which was pretty crazy. As a kid, that was like a big period of time for me. Ah, uh, did mean old Deadpool make little bitty Wolvie... Wiggum's all upset. Wait till I slice and dice your face. Whoop, 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 whoop. So he's fucking spinning it. It's making a whoop, whoop, whoop noise. That's fucking rowdy, dude. That ought to take the sunshine out of your day and twist your mad dial up to 10. Okay, that's cool. What's your beef with Kane anyway? What's your beef with Kane? Nobody wants that kid dead bad enough to pay you to ice him. Speak up, bub. Can't talk with a boot in your mug. <laughs> okay. I'm just rendered speechless by the sheer ease with which I suckered you into setting you into setting you up for this. Into setting yourself up for this. And he says, Earth. Now you can sing. I left my heart and lungs in San Francisco. Sp Spock. I'm such a card. Now, why didn't I notice that poster before? Ta-ta, Wolverine. My public awaits. Exit stage left. Getting into some fucking Marvel <laughs> fucking lore from the 90s. Here we go. Here we go. Get into it. I don't even know who these characters are. 
I literally don't even know who these characters are. But they're like actors. Meanwhile, I'm gonna skip this part. It's boring. Let's get back to the Wolverine fight. I don't even need to know about the this fight. There's people, they're acting, they're doing all kinds of stuff. And then I don't know. It's crazy. Let's get back to the Wolverine fight. So apparently Wolverine, we're coming in into a, a Marvel universe where Wolverine's healing factor has actually been weakened at some point. Okay. So like he's not at a hundred percent fighting weight right now. So this is a hard time for Wolverine and we have to have, like be, be understanding of that. His healing factor is, is fucked up and Deadpool's healing factor is totally st still legit. It has no issues. So this is this is pretty crazy, guys. This is pretty fucking intense. If I had taken a cutting like that only a month ago, I'd have been worm mungies for sure. Uh good thing my old mutant healing factor is beginning to kick in again after it went into overload after Magneto ripped out my adamantium. Oh yeah, okay. So this is that period of Therefore, they're giving us our info here that we needed that I was unsure of. But this is that period in the 90s where fucking Wolverine went fucking ham on Magneto. And then Magneto was like, bro, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to pull the metal out of your fucking body. This is one of the most insane moments of Marvel history that I've ever experienced. And um, so that happened at a point at, in my childhood. This is a very big, big time for everyone involved. And, um, you know, you see that Wolverine's healing factor had, um, had been in effect, but had gone into overload. That's the technical term that Wolverine is using here. It had gone into overload, um, after Magneto ripped out his shit and he ripped it up for real. And, uh, it's just starting to come back and it's not working as good. And Deadpool alluded to that into earlier panels in the comic book. So, just wish it would work a little faster. Deadpool was looking at this framed poster before he bugged out. Ugh, need a closer look. Ah, too close. Wolverine just fucking tries to look at something and he slams his face. Into, I don't think I've ever slammed my face into anything. I know he's fucked up, but come on, dude. So he has bone claws right now, which is like a crazy period of time for him. They appear to be really strong, but they're bone. So, like, he does have bone claws. <clears throat> That's gotta be Vanessa, the metamorph. How many blue-skinned girls can there be in this town? Actors, huh? Uh, Look at that mug. Not a pretty sight. Can't get all the way across town to that theater looking like this. At least not until the worst of this knits together. Wolverine just comes out. And he's wearing this robe. And then the next panel is uh, there's a 7-Eleven and Marlboro cigarette product placement. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but this was something I was reading when I was 10. And there's a 7-Eleven coffee ad and an ad for Marlboro cigarettes in it. And that's what I grew up in. You trying to get killed or what? Wasn't sure you'd stop for me. I've been driving a hack in San Francisco for 20 years. I picked up a lot weirder than you. Where to? The hospital or the Grand Gunal? I don't even know what the fuck. Grand Gunal and Step... I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to say. Grand Gunal and Step on it. 288, 1994. We knew how to fucking party in 1994, man. God damn. Earth 2 was a mistake, but everything... This fucking issue of Wolverine was fiery let's continue on okay. hoo ha who'd you think it was Kane Siskel and Ebert like Siskel and Ebert like random weird Siskel and Ebert reference like for no reason I hope your fighting skills have deteriorated to the level of your acting I hope I hope I hope cause I don't want too much of a hassle making sliced ham out of ya Nyuck. acting doesn't come easy to me but I was born to fight and you might say that the Weapon X project improved me some. Get out of our lives, Wade. You got no business with us. My business is making you dead, Kane. You didn't think I was going to let you get away with stealing my girl, did you? And you thought calls to Europe were long distance. Marvel Halloween phone cards will let you contact the great beyond. 
Each card entitles you to a two-minute message from a Marvel character and ten minutes of phone time. This is a terrible rip-off con. Features all new original art by top art Marvel artists. Get yours at your local drug dealer store. I mean, get yours at a comic book store while supplies last. So there is no e-commerce. I mean, but she just punches Deadpool. Like, what's up? You've got a lot of gall. Womp. Calling me. Your significant other. Your girl. I don't even let Garrison use those possessive pronouns. And he's... This dude drew this woman thick as shit. Laguna, dude. He's a thick, thick believer. Oh, my God. Among other things, sheesh, you recovered already? Now I gotta pulverize you all over again? You know, I'm a thespian yourself. Hey, you got your proclivities? I got mine, bub. Uh, a thespian is an actor. Hacking's the day job, huh? Ah, yes, the trode, the boards, the roar of the grease paint, the small of the crowd. Is that your costume? This here kimono? Nah. I got my real costume on underneath this here. Very kinky outfit, mister. Those blue stripes are Trey Bizarro. Let me see that mirror, crook. Dude, you just broke his mirror. You just took my fucking rear view mirror. Dude, I'd be so angry as a cab driver or Uber driver nowadays. What'd you know? My ripped up mug is knitting back together. The old mutant healing factor is kicking back in. I'm glad to see that for you, Wolverine. I'm glad to see that for you. Whatever there was between you and Vanessa is ancient histo. Ancient histo. That's so 90s. Wait, just like the lives we used to live. Crack. Thwack. Womp. We're starting over. We're not letting you mess us up. You're more of a chump than you look if you think you can run away from your past. Can't see him in the glare. That's the whole point, Kane. This is a dope ad. For a video game. For Demon's Crest. In the graveyard, Firebrand must bust through Bell's Claw to recover the Crest of Fire. Before he may enter the Demon Realm, Firebrand must confront Samulo, the Dragon Gatekeeper. All hell is about to break loose. Your spine will tingle as you enter the terrifying Ghoul Realm, where the evil phalanx has hidden the magical powerful stones of the demon's crest in his plot to perform a destructive empire their return is up to you and firebrand a flame skidding spinning gargoyle who morphs into unique and powerful forms each with startling attacks and powers to restore peace you must conquer phalanx and his minions on seven treacherous levels by collecting weapons gems and treasures it's a hell of a way to have fun Capcom. Wow, this is so edgy. Firebrand morphs into the title Gargoyle in an effort to shoot the Holotorian snail. Let's stay, dude. You could call f uh, a number to get more information about Demon. You call it like, Hi, I'd like to call 408-774-0400. Hi, I'd just like more information on Demon's Crest. Just like, you know, I saw the, I saw the one page article in issue 88 of uh, Wolverine and you know, it was just a great article, and I, I learned a lot about Phalanx, but I just wanted more uh, information about um, becoming a, gar a gargoyle. A gargoyle. I'm Firebrand, a flame-spitting gargoyle. Tell me more about that. I'm very interested. I hate to tell you this, but I think we just lost our brakes. That old pesky Master Cylinder's finally given up the ghost. I'm not gonna exactly be able to tell you to stop. I'm not gonna be able to stop exactly at your destination, Mister. I think Wolverine will be fine. You're the one who's gonna be fucked. Oh, shit, this gets crazy. We may be off a few blocks before I can coax this baby to a stop through deft maneuvering and skillful application of the emergency brake. Wolverine doesn't. <laughs> Wolverine's so crazy. What the fuck? I'm out of here. He uses. He just punches open the door. Or claws it open. I didn't think he has his claws out yet. He was just, for no reason, punched out the door and ripped the door off the handle. You want your fare? Come by the theater. And I think he's pulled. <laughs> Wolverine rips. This guy, his brakes go out. And the guy's like, okay, 
I'm going to be a little late on your Uber drive. And then he, if, if you had an Uber fare that ripped your door off your cab and then skateboarded down the street on your door. <laughs> How hard can it be to skateboard? Little kids do it. <laughs> Scree. This is the best. Dude. Little kids do it. <laughs> Little kids do it. Scree. That's perfect. Little kids do it. Scree. Time for an ad break. Evil shines darkest before the dawn. Shining Force 2. I remember this game well. I was a fucking nerd. Little nerd. Little kidlet. Little bitch ass kid. Indoor child. Reading. Playing hella games. Definitely. Mom. Can we go to Hollywood Video? Mom. I want to rent this game. Mom, this will let me forget how shitty it is to be a kid growing up in America in the 90s. Evil shines darkest before the dawn. Shiny Force 2. Gem in a half. This is a great fucking game. This is peak 90s, like, peak culture. This is some of the finest that you could have. The game was pretty good as far as Sega RPGs. It was excellent. Enough talking. Hand over that jewel. In return, I'll spare Sir Astral. An incredible storyline means you'll have to stay on your guard at all times. Choose from over 20 dark characters. Build your army strength as you grow and change. Holy shit. Army strength. You fight the... Peter... Peter... F Phoenix G? Seems to be Peter Phoenix G versus Dark Bishop. And the Dark Bishop looks like what you think a Dark Bishop might look like. Huge new boss characters like Kraken Head. Make your life a living nightmare. I don't want my life to be a living nightmare. I play video games to not have my life be a living nightmare. But okay, yeah. The 90s were about being like tough or whatever. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Fully animated cinematic battle sequences. Keep the adrenaline pumping. 90s. You have the Wyvern versus Clint Hero 7. Shining Force 2 is available only on Genesis. Shining Force the Sword of Hija is available only on Game Gear. These were fire games. This was peak 90s culture. 1994 was sick. Wolverine just arrived to the scene. He's getting here. He's showing up soon. He has just decided to skateboard down the street on his cab door. He was in a cab and then he took the door off the cab and was like, I'm out of here. Little kids skateboard. I can do it too. Little kids do it. Where do you see this technique? I copped it off a chef at a Japanese steakhouse. Why don't you try it on someone who isn't down? Like me. Thwam. Oh shit, she kicked you while you were... No thanks. I've been saving this one just for you, Nessa Cakes. He calls her Nessa Cakes. And he goes... Thwop. Fop. And thoom. Aw. Vanessa fall down go boom. You really love her, Kane, huh? You do anything for her, huh? Make up your mind, sport. Are you gonna stop the sword that's coming towards your head? Or you're gonna stop the one that's aimed at Vanessa's heart? Here comes Wolverine. He's gotten to this point by fucking ripping a cab door off of his somebody he hired somebody to perform a service to drive him somewhere didn't pay him anything and ripped his cab door off he somehow successfully skateboarded little kids do it scream little kids do it scream he skateboarded all the way to this panel after a whole five minute like panel of Deadpool like fighting and beating the shit out of someone he said he liked. He Wolverine comes through the door and he says, I bust through the theater door like a runway freight train. I got a sec I got a half second to register what's going on and decide on a course of action. Oh, we got ads for cool shit. Let's check this cool shit out. What's coming out? How to draw comics the Marvel way. Wolverine comes alive in this awesome cold cast statue sculpted by Bowen Designs. Serially numbered and hand painted, this dynamic collectible includes real metal cloths. That would have been pretty fire to me. A hundred and forty fucking dollars. Marvel's cool. Uh, coolest characters come alive in these classy pins. They are fire pins. I would. All these pins are fire. 
Man, the fucking dad hat is fire. That fucking Wolverine dad hat with the X and then the watch. That's a quartz watch. All new X logo watch. The fucking shirt is sick and it's $15. That's such a good price nowadays. Just like the crazy Wolverine face looking out of a black tee. That looks fucking fire. The 95 Flare Ultra X-Men cards were fucking sick. They were deluxe. They had a lot of guaranteed holog holographs and foils in every fucking uh, pack. They were they were nice cards. But I got no choice, do I? There's a, f a sword flying true to the girl's heart. She's in no condition to stop it. Vanessa Clang. Not like the canold knuckle head. Thwack. He took the hit. You should have been dead. Dude, that's the most naive shit in the world to ever say to Wolverine. Wolverine doesn't die. That's his whole shtick. You should have been dead. Life is tough, ain't it? Time for payback, Wade. And guess what else, bub? My mutant healing factor is working fine, boy. Too bad for you, huh? You got nothing left to say, Big Mouth? Just one word. Grenade! Kaboom. The dude sure knows how to go out with a bang. Because when the smoke clears, he's gone like a whiff of B.O. Cleared out by a stiff breeze. I pitch in and help the kids clean up their digs. And I kip out on their futon couch until morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was worth reading. <laughs> I kip out on their futon couch until morning. Yeah, I used to be just like you two. Trying to find my way, thinking I could do it on my own. Wolverine is peak boomer. Holy God. Running around, howling in the woods. And I found some folks who were just like me, who understood, who cared. It's cool though, dude. He's so ahead of the curve on fashion. That's so good. Look at his rig out, man. He's got the motorcycle, hipsters fuck. He's got the leather jacket, hipsters fuck. He's got the hipsters fuck scarf and his fucking hair is fucking his hairline is excellent and saying crazy boomer shit to these people and they're literally not even talking back to him he just talks they're literally not even talking back. and all of a sudden i had a place i could call home sometimes i forget it happens you get too wound up in yourself and you lose track of the fact that when you stop participating you're just like that tree in the middle of the forest that nobody knows about when it falls. I'm going home now. I hope you two can work it out and have a good life. Vroom. What a boomer. Jesus fucking Christ. He blocked the sword that it was aimed at his own head. That's right. He did the right thing. Because if he was dead, he wouldn't be able to help you at all. He could have stopped the sword that was aimed at you. But the other one would have split his skull. Then who was going to stop Deadpool from walking over and acing you? But you were there. Yeah, but what if I had caught a cab with good brakes? The return of Ogan is the next episode. Alright, that was kind of anticlimactic ending.